I have to really keep checking to make sure I don't say the wrong thing to start the meeting. So we'll convene the meeting. <laughs> um, all right. So again, we're meeting right now for the purpose of, of beginning to work at 3727, right? Right. Just make sure I have the numbers. However, before we get started, I uh, wanted to give a, get a quick update um, and have the opportunity for Representative Miller to give an update on his project. And if the other team that wanted to update on their project to see which race is going to finish first is fine. But Representative Miller. And thank you, Mr. Chairman. And of course, he's talking about the renumbering project. Um, my, my work to this point is available for review in the conference room of the Minority Leader's Office. And anyone's welcome to come in and see where we're at. I began on the western edge of the state and worked easterly, uh, got as far as Wichita. Um, I'm going to switch my work now to the eastern border and work that from east to west toward Wichita. But you can, if you want to see how it's working out, um, you're welcome to look at it. Just don't tinker with it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. And uh, I can already tell that some of the Western guys are starting to uh, go, oh, wait a minute, 120, 120, it's all good. Uh, Actually, they're the easiest ones to take care of. It's further east I get, the more it gets out of right. current whack. All right, perfect. And as far as the, well, since the other team member just walked in, I'll give a second. If y'all, do you have an update on, on your project? Representative Langbury, he wants to know, do we have an update on numbering? I thought you were calling it representative. I decided I better open. You know how you defend yourself, right? No, we had we had not really discussed it. And I, be, I believe she invited me. Well, he's already started, and that's okay. We're, we're, Two projects that we'll we give you time. a later update. Is that Abs okay? Absolutely. Thank no you, worries. Mr. Chair. Yeah. I do appreciate it. No worries. Okay. With that, we'll go ahead and um, begin working. Uh, House Bill 23. Sorry. What did I say before? 2737. I switched it up. So 2737. All right. So with that, uh, Jordan, if you'll go ahead and just give a quick, quick update, and uh, especially on the website, make sure anything else is out there. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Jordan Milholland, Legislative Research. Um, I'll go ahead and just pull up the map so that everyone can see that statewide map while we're uh, working the bill here. Um, again, this map, um, you know, redistricts 125 house districts. Farther down in the packet, you can get the population summary. Um, so I will pull that up so I can cover that. Oh. All these threes are uh, running around in my head, so I apologize for that. Uh, just one second here. So uh, I guess you all have seen Representative Croft's amendment to get rid of 85 districts. Uh, sorry to spoil that. <laughs> I do have the correct map up here now. Um, and for those following along at home or online, uh, you can, uh, again, access this packet. We did uh, go back and check, and I'm making sure that we have the highest resolution packets uploaded to our website as possible. Uh, I know a few of them have been compressed, um, so we're trying to make sure that they're all as full res as possible so you can zoom in on those maps. Uh, again, this, this state map has 125 districts. Uh, the population table covers the specific population and deviation uh, for each district. If you scroll down to the bottom of the table, it summarizes the entire map. Um, it states the ideal district population is 23,503. This map ranges from 22,688 to 24,327. Um, and that is a deviation range of negative 3% to positive 3.51%. 
Um, and Mr. Chair, I'd be happy to uh, answer any questions right now if there are any again on this map. Are there any questions for the reviser? I mean, research, sorry. <laughs> just make sure you're awake. Go, Representative Burroughs. Thank you. Just, just to review, could you go back, uh, Jordan, to the previous page where you had the deviation numbers? The uh, can you, I think it might have been the next one where the total deviation you gave an average or are you going an average or a mean on the deviation? Uh, you set up three. That's what I was trying to read. Oh, sure. And I can zoom in just a little bit, uh, Mr. Chair, if that'd be helpful. Thank you. So we've got the range there of minus three percent to positive three point five one. Um, that the mean deviation is one point five five percent. But generally, we look at that range uh, between 5% on those two bookends. Yeah. Well, thank you. I just wanted to ensure that we had it, that it's 22,688 to 24,327, and it all falls within that 365.30 uh, and the 1.55% deviation. Uh, yes, my, minus 3% to 3.51%. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay. Any other questions? Oh, Representative. Hi. Sorry. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chair. So if we could uh, go down to slide number 15, please. Um, my favorite slide. Um, but my, my question is this. There has been a lot of speculation just uh, just around the Johnson County area that we would uh, stand to pick up two to three seats. And so would you say how many have we picked up and how do we define picking up a seat if a small portion of it is in Johnson County, but if the larger portion is out of it? So if you could just sort of walk me through some of the line of thinking there, I'd be grateful. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair, Jordan Milholland, Legislative Research. Uh, I believe we have a, a, a report in this packet that uh, discusses the percentage of new um, uh, territory in that district or whether the district existed in a different place before. Uh, so if you give me just a few minutes, I will pull that up for the committee and we can discuss that. And then in the meantime, I turn it back to you. I was just asking the reviser if he'd like to sing for the group, or and he said water stops running in the shower when he sings. So, So, Representative, while he's still trying to find it, I believe the answer is uh, uh, District 5 wasn't in before 108 and 115 were not present in Johnson County previously. Now, not all of those are in Johnson County complete, 
but they have a piece in there that we're not in it before I believe is the answer. He's just trying to find it on the page for you. Exactly. Where, yeah. So, yeah. I, and I note and am quite pleased with the addition of 108. I think that's wonderful. I had heard from some community members, in particular business community members, that were a little feeling a little bit of heartburn on that. So I think the more clarification we offer, because of course it is difficult, as I'm sure we have all found in our map making process. Um, you make one change and it affects the entire state, but. No secret that I'm Johnson County centric here, so I do appreciate you all accommodating me and answering the questions. Absolutely. Okay, with that, uh, not seeing other questions, so I'd like to uh, offer an opportunity for any amendments, if there are any amendments. Now, I recognize also there may be there's more being discussed right now, and that's why I'm, I was kind of pausing. But if there's an amendment to be offered right now, uh, I'll offer an opportunity to have that presented. Okay. Not seeing any um, right now. You had an announcement you needed to make, or, or for at the end, right? Of said to right now or at the end, end. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, yes, that will be at the at the end of the meeting before you before you adjourn. Okay. Well, go ahead and make your announcement then, because we're at the end of right oh, now. Um, <laughs> Mr. Chair, <laughs> my apologies, Mr. Chair, members of the committee. Uh, uh, if you could uh, state what time um, the uh, what time what I, we're coming back? Yeah, what time we are coming back? Um, the announcement to the public would be that um, the stream is going to end, but uh, within 15 minutes after the end of the meeting, I'm going to make a new harmony and a new YouTube stream, so you may follow along online afterwards. Um, yeah, so that that's just the announcement. Fair enough. Okay, so my question to the committee is uh, just easily. I, I assume most people have a 1:30 meeting. Correct. Most of have. How about a three thirty? You do. Okay. So then the answer is then we. Yes, ma'am. Represent Landware. We don't know what will happen with the probes. We go back at two, and they're trying to work through all that. So. Okay. Okay. Let's do this then. How about we recess until five, following the last the committee meetings, and and we'll just come back up here, talk about where we're at, and then see where we're going to go from there. Fair enough that we will allow time to get everything else maneuvered through the process it's going through. So with that, recess. I want to get the words right. We're, we're in recess. Thank you for your time. I guess we can go ahead and pick up. Uh, we're online now, correct? Okay. Welcome back for recess. I think they used to have a, uh, they used to have a different meaning when I was a kid, I think. <laughs> Okay, so um, I know we were in the middle of, I had, we had some discussions. I know there was a question that was made uh, by Representative Clayton. You had asked a question about districts, new ones, and research has the information more in detail and actually has an ad, so please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Jordan Milhall and Legislative Research. Uh, so I did locate the correct report within the packet it's called districts by county with population. Uh, if anyone happens to be following along, which uh, uh, it'd be page 82 of the packet, of the large packet. Um, and again, that lists the districts that are in the Free State 3 plan uh, for Johnson County. I compared that to the 2012 plan uh, to see what the differences were. So as the chairperson mentioned earlier, districts 108 and 115 uh, were not part of Johnson County in 2012. And then District 5 is also grabbing a small portion of Johnson County now. And then one district actually uh, used to have a piece of Johnson County, which was District 38. And uh, that county, or sorry, that district no longer has a piece of Johnson County in this plan. Thank you. And I, I actually, I appreciate you, you reminding us because I forgot earlier to say anything about 38 being moved out. So thank you for that update. Did that answer your question? It does. Thank you. Okay. Were there any other questions for Reviser? Um, I do believe that before we get started and where we're giving an update of where we are, that uh, Representative Patton, you had a motion you wanted to make. Did it have to do with a walking committee now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So just so you know, they were out in the, while we were waiting, and I pay, appreciate everybody's patience, they decided to start their walking committee meet caucus. So they've now established a walking caucus. That, right. 
right? So that anybody wants to join them, you may. So listen, um, let me give you a quick update of where we're at. And I really appreciate everybody's patience in this process. It's a long process. It's a necessary process. And it's a process that we've talked about from the very beginning, how we want to hear what people have to say and work together to try to come up with a solution for the betterment of the state. And I think we have done that through the entire thing, starting in the fall, working our way through it, where we are today. And that's why I really want to appreciate everybody's time and effort and your your patience and your trust in us in doing this. And I just, I hope we, we have fulfilled that for you as we've gone through this from the leadership, the three of us up here. And um, so I believe that we have something that we all can agree to. We, it will be now uh, go over to, we'll finalize it. It'll take us about an hour and a half to get it all finalized, just to make sure we've crossed the T's, dotted the I's and make sure that Representative Miller, that I didn't mess up again. Uh, Cause he told me he'd remind me if I did. And, um, and so, and then it'll take research. You'll be here at all night to do this. And Ken, what time do you think you could be ready for us in the morning? Is it 10? Is that what we talked about? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, yes, we talked about 10 a.m. So we'll do our best to get it ready before then. You may have to sit around for a few minutes and wait for copies or something, but we'll do our best to get it ready by that time. Okay. So, so with that, we're going to, and I, I apologize, I hate to never, ever do anything on Fridays, but we're going to have to do that so we can get this moving. I know, I know, it's my second time, I, I'm going to owe some donuts, I'll, br I'll have donuts in the morning, I'll bring them in, and um, so 10 o'clock, we, we're going to, when we do recess, we'll recess, we'll reconvene here at 10 a.m., and, um, um, okay, and was there anything else? No. Okay. Do you need a little bit more time? Do you need 1030? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. We'll take as much time as you can give us. <laughs> All right, let's do 1030 then. I don't want to keep holding this up if we can. And what they are taking, as I do know, 1030, we'll be back in here. Anybody that wants to volunteer tonight, they'll be glad to have you help uh, read. Uh, and and I'm, we're bringing the pizza for them tonight So because we really appreciate everything you guys are doing. And again, appreciate y'all's time. I know you guys have things to do, and I want to go ahead and get this thing short. So with that, thank you very much, and we'll recess till tomorrow at 1030.